take a bit of time together to talk about UDIM. On some CG objects, especially when you have to unwrap the UV, the texture mapping, uh, it's very nice to just separate different elements in different tiles. So if I open a CG object I made, um, I loaded, and uh, if I take a look about the UVs, you will see how the system will work. I show you the UV viewport and this is the element through uh, different tiles and the tiles will go like that one size on one, one size on two uh, for the same horizontal there is a limitation to one size on ten why? because if we colon we'll have another name so one size on one for the first, but one size on 11, one size on 21, one size on 31, and everything will be follow this philosophy. With this kind of system, it's pretty easier for texturer to have control and to paint easily and efficiently uh, a CG object. Because the same CG object is spread through different tiles so uh, that easier to have quality and preserve the system but now when you have to load this object in Nuke you have to explain to Nuke how to use the UDIM the UDIM import gives you the possibility to import this texture and you will understand that the image sequence is equal to the UV tail uh, the UV tile. So if, if I clean open, you will see I have now for each image the UDIM code. You can add files if you want, and there is different way to explain to Nuke how to spread out the system. For example, there is a single wind node. We just now have a single wind node. And since this girl will node will be spread out through different frame hold. And for each frame hold, you will have the UV tiles that explain who is the frame. So in this case, it is a UDIM one size on one. And as you see, every UDIM is merged with a merge mat node. And you will find at the end a multi texture node. It is a special one just to uh, optimize the rendering through the different mesh mat.